If you're looking for a bike and your priority is comfort and long distances, then the Canyon Endurace is the bike that has been designed for your needs. Now this is the WMN or Women's Pacific version and it's new for this year, it was released early in 2017 is now available on the market. Now although Canyon did have an Endurace women's specific model before, the new bike features a women's specific geometry based on data that Canyon have collected from their online fit system. This data, Canyon says, suggests that women would benefit from their own bespoke geometry. This is probably my favourite bike that I've tested over the last year. So the new bikes that have come out, if I was going to buy one for the kind of riding that I do, this is the one I'd go for. The fit is spot on. Any niggles that I might have had with the previous incarnation I resolved here. It just feels almost like it was made for me. Now I would still want to have a bike fit to get those final adjustments made. But for me, for this size, it's been pretty much spot on. The ride itself feels supremely comfortable. You feel like you absolutely glide along the road surface, insulated from those lumps and bumps. Although it doesn't completely compromise on that feeling of acceleration and speed, you can put the power down when you need to. It doesn't have quite that aggressive, agile feeling as perhaps a more race-focused bike, like its sister, the Ultimate. But if you're looking to go for long distances, enjoy those long rides, get up those hills, power down those flats, then this is a really good bike for that. This is the mid-range version of the bike coming in just shy of 2,200 pounds. And for that, you're getting a carbon frame and Shimano 105 gearing plus hydraulic disc brakes. This makes it a very reasonable value for money setup. It's got pretty much everything you'd want for that price point. You might like to upgrade the wheels at some point in the future, but generally speaking, I'd be quite happy to ride this bike as it is. It comes fitted with some rather nice Schwalbe Pro 1 tyres with a 25mm width and as with its sister the Ultimate there's enough clearance there if you did want to go up to maybe a 28 for an even more comfortable ride you can do so. One little niggle I do have is the hoods for the Shimano disc brakes are fairly chunky so if you've got smaller hands even with my relatively medium sized hands it can be quite uncomfortable to hold onto the brakes when you're on the hoods for a long period of time and reaching from the drops can be awkward too. This is also a good looking bike. It's got a satin finish with that bright plain turquoise colour which looks pretty good. Internal cable routing and a nice neat location for the seat clamp just below uh, the seat tube there. So this version comes with hydraulic disc brakes with through axles. You can really feel the benefit of through axles over quick release. It just feels much stiffer, firmer, and gives a more confident feeling around that hub area when you're braking. The rear cassette goes up to 32, which provides a nice wide range of gears, more than enough to get you up those steep climbs, particularly when combined with the 50 and 34 tooth chain rings at the front. Now, if your budget doesn't quite stretch to this level, there are two aluminium frame versions of the Endurace. One comes in about 1,600, the other around 1,300, so they're a little bit more pocket friendly. I suspect this bike is going to be a pretty common sight on the roads. I've really enjoyed riding it. It's got everything you need on it. 105 is a great group set. The hydraulic disc brakes work fantastically well. The fit is really comfortable, at least for me. I found the frame nice and light. The gearing is more than adequate to get you up pretty much anything you're gonna be faced with. There's nothing I'd really wanna change on this bike except maybe the size of the hoods. So if you're looking for a mid-priced versatile bike, perfect for those longer rides, have a look at the Canyon Endurace WMN.